Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Frankie B and I'm in the art flow. Hey, this time around, this is fulfillment time on the August campaign. First off, I want to thank all of those writers out there who dared to saddle up with me and Matthew on our comic book journey. We still have a ways to go to get to that 12 issue marker, but we will get there and we're looking forward to 2024. Well, anyway, um, some writers decided to go for the reward tiers that had the original artwork. That was the sketch cards and then also the sketch covers. And we had, I had two sketch covers to do, and this is one of them. And I'm gonna say I am super excited about this one. The person um, uh, who I uh, contacted and then they responded back, they pretty much wanted me to do High Noon, which is an amazing Western and uh, film and um, and I just was like oh wow man how am I gonna approach this it's exciting but boy it is kind of challenging because I kind of wanted the word uh, high noon to sort of be um, almost like in front of sort of be right in the front of it so you still saw the Codgers and Cowboys uh, logo and by the way I just want to say the new Codgers and Cowboy logo is phenomenal I wasn't sure it was gonna work um, when I presented it to Matthew um, but you know it looks fantastic and um, it's, I just like the color popping out of it okay <laughs> so anyway um, I so what I did was I said man I want to have the high new logo kind of like sort of like how the movie poster was but have it you know out there in the front so how do you pull that off well first off you know i had to do a light table of a light table trace of the actual logo print it out hand hand drew it on a light trace uh, light tabled it and then had to cut it out with my exacto knife so, and actually, mind you, I had to put it on Bristol paper, Bristol paper, because it's a lot more thicker, firmer. So then I had to cut it out and then have put that aside and then begin to do the drawing and stuff. So drawing, laying stuff in. I used some Posco uh, white, uh, uh, white marker, I guess, as you can call it that, to sort of go in there and fill in the white areas over the, the actual logo of the Cognitive Cowboys book. And then, so then I can draw on it. And then technically it's just like I drew these uh, kaju legs. Now here's the kicker. I'm, I'm thinking in my mind that there, there were actually two kajus, probably of the same species, but there's two of them facing down b -win. And so you got this scenario where he has his, his uh, right gun hand. Well, he has two, like he can, you know, his guns can come out of his, his wrists and stuff, but he has this particular, you know, right hand wrist and he looks like he's ready to go. And here you go right here where you got, where I actually, you know, you actually, I actually have the, I already applied the High Noon logo on there, but he has his hand ready out there. But then I wanted to give that sense of like his other hand is kind of like, you know, the sort of jittering, like he's just ready just to go ready. You know, you know how good gunslingers would, you know, they'd have their hand kind of like ready, just poised, you know, to go for it and stuff. So I wanted to get that kind of scenario. I also wanted to, you know, on the actual High Noon poster, um, there's a lot of contrast, so there's the negative and positive, so a lot of like the nice strong contrast, black against you know the white, and then they, they use the sort of I feel like a sepia, a uh, kind of monochromatic kind of uh, effect over it. Um, I wasn't going with this sepia. Well, I'm using the, I used a lot of warm grays and and, and um, cool grays, but also I wanted to apply a little bit of color. I mean, when I tell people what I'm doing black and white. In my mind, black and white, but then also a little, you know, sometimes you can get away with a little bit of color and stuff. You'll see that later on as the video progresses. I'll try to sneak in a little bit of color. Not too much, because it's technically a black and white piece. In my mind, gray tone. Um, but, you know, sometimes you gotta have a little color in there. That's just my opinion. And so usually when I do uh, commissions for people, especially when they go black and white, gray tone, I'll throw a little hint of color in there, just to kind of give a little pop out. But, in this scenario right here, um, you know, I, I just laid it out. So in my mind, I see two adversaries and they're and they're about to go against Hunter Bot B Win. Now let me explain. Again, Hunter Bot B Win is the protagonist this time in the Codgers and Cowboys a story that me and Matthew are doing right now. Um, but you know, there's other characters as well. <laughs> and that's all I can tell you. <laughs> so anyway, uh yeah. 
you know, I came in with some heavy, some nice strong blacks in there and stuff. Um, this time around, I just focused on just using my, um, the, uh, oof, memory, memory block, pentel, my pentel brush pen, excuse me. <laughs> and I applied that down there using that mostly. I, I love the black on it. You know, even though I do have, I, I tend to use, I have a Sumi um, ink. Um, that's in my inkwell, and I, I love using that as well, and I have been in some of my brush markers. I just love the Pentel brush. The ink from that is just fantastic. It's a nice, solid black. Uh, and so, and it's, it's just it's easy. I, I'm just very comfortable using it. Um, and so that's my go-to, as well as um, I use Paper Mate uh, pencils, um, the uh, mechanical uh, Paper Mate pencils that you, know, you can buy a ton of them. Uh, I like to use them. I like the lead on them, nice, soft lead and stuff. Um, it doesn't smudge too much. I found I've been pretty comfortable with it. A little bit of smudging, but not too much. And they erase really well. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know what else to really say. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I hope that the person who um, commissioned me to do this piece it will be happy as well. I try to put as much as I can in all of my pieces um, because I just feel that, you know, if somebody took the time out to uh, want to commission me to do something, then, you know, um, I, I really want to put my A game out there. And, you know, my artwork is going out there. That art, my artwork is a reflection of who I am. And so I want to make sure that the, anything that I do uh, is, is, is definitely represented. So, boy, oh, boy, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> so with that said, I just want to just thank you all for just you know taking the time to view my video, um, taking a look at all the stuff. And as I always say, oh, by the way, let me just throw that in there. <laughs> I was about to get right there what you're seeing me doing. I'm actually using Q-tips to do some coloring. And now um, applying it down and doing some gray tones. The color is in the actual logo of High Noon because I want that to pump out. So it's almost like this golden kind of effect. And I pumped out his eyes because they're green and stuff. So with that said, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and keep the art flowing. Enjoy. <laughs>